Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Brave browser to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That's one of the best web browsers which work extremely fast on pretty much any Android based TV. You can use it to open Google, watch media files, TV shows online and so on. Pretty much for any of your tasks it should work. So now without any further ado, let me show you how to get Brave Browser to your device. And first of all, you have to get an app called Unloader to your device. You can actually get it totally for free. To do so, you go to search on your Fire Stick, open the Amazon App Store and start typing Downloader right here in the search. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So click on Downloader and there's the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you get Downloader, it's not over yet. You still have to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader, you have to go to settings on your device. And let's do it right now. Click on that button with a gear icon, scroll down and go to my far TV, open it. And from here, you have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some fire sticks and especially on the new fire stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options, which have appeared for us right here. We open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install non apps. From here, you have to locate the loader and make sure to turn that option on. So, what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of applications on your device, which is right here, we open it, and there is the loader, which is set up and ready to use. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which we always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium website. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say you connect to the Netherlands right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go to the list of apps, open up the loader, and wait until it loads for you. Then, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser, that's super important. And now, in that search bar, we have to enter a code, which is gonna be 7212... made a mistake... 35. So, once again, the code is 721253, you can see the code on your screen, so just enter it as you see, then click on Go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel, so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot, and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened, 
what we have to do is scroll it down a bit. Keep scrolling until you see that download APK button right here. Let's click on it. And at some point it might not work for you. So if you are clicking the button and nothing happens, what you have to do next is click the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. You click on it and disable JavaScript and reload the page. So select that option, scroll down again, click download PK and boom, it's working now. So when a new web page is going to open, you have to click on that here button. And now the load of Brave Browser is going to start. Usually it does take long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed on your device. I do have a pretty good connection, even with a VPN, so it takes just a couple of seconds. Then you have to click install, and the Brave Browser finally will be installed to your Android TV or Amazon Fire Stick device. After that, don't click on open yet. Instead, press on done, because this way we are able to delete the installation files from your Fire Stick. So click on delete and then delete once again. And now, finally, if you go to the list of apps on your device, open the list applications, there is the Brave Browser, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote and press on move to front. Then finally, let's open the browser. As you can see, now it shows you a mobile version of the app, but when we finally start using it, it will be in the TV version. So we have to click continue, scroll down, click on not now, there click on X. As you can see, now it works as a TV browser. I would recommend you to use a Bluetooth mouse in order to use web browser because it does not have an integrated mouse toggle. However, it is also possible to use it without a mouse. Though with a Bluetooth mouse, it would be way easier for you. So today you learned how to get a Brave browser to your Fire Stick. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.